As the World Series winning manager likes to say, bumpy roads lead to beautiful places. And the 2019 Nationals bumpy but ultimately beautiful road has led to Constitution Avenue in Northwest Washington, D.C. That is where today's Nationals World Series Championship Parade, does that have a sweet ring to it or what? This is what you dream about as a baseball player. This is what you dream about as a fan. So a beautiful day. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better day. This many people showing up for this, uh, it's pretty special. You mentioned it's pretty special. What's special about this ball club that you'll take away from this 2019 team? Um, just, just how close we are as a family. Um, it's still crazy to think we're world champions. So, um, we're, I think, I think guys here seeing all the fans come out today, it's, uh, it's really exciting. We're happy for everybody here, and I uh, just can't wait. To keep, keep having fun. When you guys were in Houston, how much were you looking forward to celebrating with all your fans here in D.C.? Oh, I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, this The turnout here, I heard there's going to be like a million people, so I have no idea, but that's unbelievable. Kurt, you told us back in spring training, when you came back to the Washington Nationals, you had a goal. There was something you wanted to accomplish. To finish the like this, this is exactly what you guys wanted. How do you put it into words? Uh, it's this is unbelievable, you know. I, I'm at a loss for words right now. All these people here supporting us, uh, come out to celebrate with us. Uh, it's great, and um, you know, last time I was here, it was obviously ended in heartbreak in 12 and 13 wasn't very good. But uh, you know, the second go around, I was saying this is this is it right here. I come back for for a second try, and we made it all the way. Oh my God, the praise, unbelievable! It's a moment that I, you know, like I always waiting for. A uh, moment that I like, dream in, moments that I that I saw in TV for many many years, and now I'm here. Is is something that I'm so blessed, and you know, it's, I don't have any kind of word to, you know, grateful with God to this opportunity. You bring up that you were waiting many years. One of the things we saw in the field was when you embraced Max Scherzer and you said, we did it after the heartbreak with Detroit. Now to do this in D.C., what was that like for you guys? You know what? Uh, everything started on the, on the first uh, games of the, of, the, of the World Series that uh, we won. Like nobody waiting for, for that, especially because we got like a week off. And uh, we said it one thing like, hey, man, we just want to be on the team that we won all. And uh, when that moment happened, that's why we like, remember, we did it. We did it. We won all. So we celebrate. And, uh, that's, you know, it's so emotional at that moment. And I mean, and it was crazy for both, both of us. Bob was just saying, what a day this has been for you. How do you put this into words, celebrating the World Series with Washington? Well, it's incredible. We have a great team in the Washington Nationals. They won four games on the road to win the World Series, and we couldn't be prouder of them. What do you think of all the fans that came out today, just the atmosphere? Well, we wanted to put on an amazing parade for them. The men and women of our police department and fire department are keeping everybody safe, and thousands of people are lining Constitution Avenue. The vision of seeing Washington Nationals fans atop the, the archives and all the monuments is just truly special. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. fans, it's time to welcome to the stage your 2019 World Champions right now. Make some noise. Let's show them what DC sounds like. Every one of you in this crowd is a World Series champion Nationals baseball fan. Congratulations. You know, baseball is a game of memories. So I think I have some things I want you all to remember from this season. Not all of it's great. I want you to remember how it felt when our guys were 19 and 31 
and they had to win 71 games to get to 90. Guess what they did? They won 74 to get to 93. Remember when Davey said to go 1-0 every day, did we believe that? Well, we do now. Remember the first time you did the baby shark when Gerardo came out of the dugout and got a key base hit. Remember watching Max with a broken nose and a black eye go out and pitch a Max Scherzer ball game. Remember when you chanted MVP when Anthony came to the plate. Remember how we all went crazy the night Kurt Suzuki hit a homer and we walked off the Mets with seven in the ninth. I've got a few other things I don't want you to forget. Don't ever forget how excited you got when Juan Soto got the base hit to beat Milwaukee in the wild card game. Don't ever forget how you jumped off your couch when Howie hit the grand slam at Dodger Stadium. Don't ever forget how you felt at the ballpark or at home when the boys danced on the infield sweeping the Cardinals and winning the National League pennant. Don't forget how you cheered when our guy from Virginia hit the first Nationals World Series homer, Ryan Zimmerman. Don't forget how you felt when they danced one final time on the infield in Houston on Wednesday night to win the World Series. There are some who say D.C. cannot be united. The Nationals have united D.C. We are here today because we love each other as Nationals fans. We're united in our love for this great game of baseball, and we are united as we celebrate our Washington Nationals World Series champions. Nets fans, can you believe this? Pretty cool, huh? For the first time since 1924, we brought the World Series Championship back to our nation's capital. On behalf of my mother, Annette, and, our, and the entire Lerner Cohen and Tannenbaum family, we are all thrilled that my 94-year-old father, Ted Lerner, had his dream come true to bring a world championship to his hometown. Before I leave, I only have one other thing to say. Baby Shark. Washington, D.C., we're the world champions. How about that? It's got a good ring to it. Hey, I want to I thank, first of all, the greatest fan base in all sports, the Washington, D.C. fan base. Thank you. Few people that I always thank because they are the unsung heroes of any championship caliber organization. Our scouting and the player development staff are sitting right there in front of us. Our front office staff, which is second to none. Guys who are missing birthdays and anniversaries and kids' Little League games to go watch players to find the next Anthony Rendon and the next Patrick Corbin and Steven Strasburg. So thank you, guys. You made it. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, before I get started, I can't do this by myself. I mean, we got here because of the group of guys that we had in that clubhouse all year long. The resilience, the relentless, the team that never gave up, that fought. So while I talk right here, I want my boys up here too. Let's go, you don't have to tell me to stay in a fight. I'm going to fight. 
I'm going to stick up for these boys because they stuck up for me all year long. So we get, we get going. I got players telling me, watch my heart. I got fans screaming at me, your heart, Davey, your heart, Davey. I'm going to tell you something. All this right here has cured this heart. You guys have just been uh, nothing short of amazing out here. For you guys to show up in the playoffs like y'all did, uh, to bring the energy like y'all had, and the noise. Hey, we fed off of it even though we didn't win. Hey, <laughs> it's all right. We felt it, and that's going to go a long way. Don't worry. DC, this is all for you guys. Uh, this group of guys has been amazing. All these veteran guys, all these new guys. Oh, yeah, this is it, right? Hey, get that one. Get that one. Right here. Come on. Hey, the button on the top. Right there. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, right there. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got it? Oh, yeah. One more. Selfie. Selfie. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Hey, DC. You know, at a time when I came here, I was thinking about retiring in my career. And honestly, I was at a rough spot in the game. You know, being with, the, with another organization kind of got me down on the game a little bit. Coming here, you know, my first year was with Dusty, and I had a great time. This group of guys back here, not all of them, but most of them were here. And they taught me, they taught me to love the game again. The city taught me to love baseball again. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, excuse my voice. Couldn't get sick in October, so I decided to get sick now. But um, <laughs> you know, this was uh, this was quite a ride. It's something you dream about as a kid. I think we all did that. But um, you know, it's something really, really special because we were able to do it together and. You know, it takes it took all 25 of us, and I think that's you know, you could see that every single every single day. You know, we're pulling for each other. Hey, do you guys remember when we brought camels to spring training, and everybody laughed at us? Who's laughing now? Also, we won the World Series on a Wednesday. About all these guys back here grinding their hearts out for freaking four straight months doing everything in their power, whether they're hurt, whether on the ground, or fighting through everything. That was stay in the fight. And when we started hitting, we got power, we started dancing. We started getting on there, and we started hitting solo shots, whether that was important or not. We started partying, and we started having fun. And you saw a group of guys come together like you've never seen before. Never in this town have you ever seen a team compete with so much heart and so much fight all the way to the wild card game and then all the way through October. That's why you have seen a World Series champion because of the heart and fight that this team has. These guys, we fought all year long. We stayed together. Um, we had such a cast of characters. You know, much has been made about the Viejos and the young guys. And, um, you know, we came from uh, we came from a dark place in June. We uh, we really were one and zero. We played playoff games from June first on, and I think that really helped us. Um, you know, there's not a team that I would have wanted to do this with more more than these guys. Like like Mr. Lerner said, it was worth the wait. Um, the fans, we grew up together. I came here when I was 20 years old, right out of college. Um, you guys, you guys hadn't had baseball in a long time. You were learning how to be fans again. I got guys that come up to me now that are 30 years old and said I've been their favorite player since they were a little kid. Which is disturbing. <laughs> Basically like Juan. <laughs> but uh, what a group of guys. We're 2019 World Series champs, and nobody can ever take that away from us. <laughs> Thank you to the city of DC. You guys have been great. You guys are behind us all the time. Anytime we go out to dinner, anytime we're walking on the streets, 
You guys have always been so supportive and so nice to us. I truly believe this is the greatest city to play sports in the world. Thank you. Safe at last, do 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 do, safe at last, do 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 do, safe at last.